You've probably heard that UCLA has some of the best dining halls in the nation, and in some websites, they are rated as having the best college food in America. Well, in this video, we're going to test that out by rating three of UCLA's dining halls. Starting off with B-Play, aka the healthiest dining hall on campus. I mean, it was literally born on top of a gym, so I don't think you can get any healthier than that. Fun fact, you might encounter a faction of people called B-Plate haters, and Amy is definitely one of them. This was my selection from B-Plate. Now, B-Plate always serves chicken, and based on this chicken breast, it was not very juicy, but it was marinated very well, so I give it a 7 out of 10 for flavor. Next, we have the veggies. Honestly, they were kind of subpar. For some reason, B-Plate never adds seasoning to their veggies, so I would give it maybe a generous 5 out of 10. Next up, we have the taco, and I know it doesn't look very appetizing upon first glance, but trust me, it's very edible. It has a very sour slash vinegar taste to it, so I would rate it as having a very interesting taste. Now this is Amy's selection from B Plate. She normally doesn't come to this dining hall for numerous reasons. It kind of tastes like a school child's crayons. Like I don't know how to describe it, but it's like the texture is okay. Mm -hmm. It's like a little bit mushy, okay. but the taste. I think it might be the cheese that it's giving it like a party. I'm gonna try this. This is chicken tortillas. I feel like it kind of tastes like sweet and sour with like Mexican spices. The chicken is also like a little bit bland in it. Like all the flavor is coming from the actual. Now every dining hall has dessert, for instance, B-Plate has a froyo machine, we also have a selection of different loaves, and we also have a yogurt bar. Unfortunately, they did not have the yogurt that I wanted, so all I got were some frozen mangoes. <laughs> and this was the moment I realized that Amy would never enter B-Plate again. It's a little bit sour. That's good though, I just, I just didn't realize it was going to be that sour. <laughs> It tastes like it's from Costco. It like it's from Costco? Wait, what if it's actually from Costco? That's probably why it's really good. <laughs> so after dinner, I asked Amy what her overall experience was of B-Plate and she says... 3.75 out of 10. Uh, <laughs> and the only saving grace is the lemon blueberry cake. Amy loved the dessert so much that she actually went back for more in order to relocate them back into her dorm. And yes, this was the only thing Amy actually liked from B-Plate. Let's do this fast before anybody starts suspecting. <laughs> Usually you like B plate, but today had some disappointments. So maybe like a six. <laughs> just today? <laughs> yeah. No, just today had some disappointments. Normally it doesn't for me. I actually like the food there. And since I liked it so much, I actually went back for breakfast and had the yogurt that I actually wanted to get. So that's all for B plate. Next up, we have Epicuria. Now this dining hall has an Italian vibe to it. It always serves pizza and pasta, and I absolutely love the atmosphere of this place, especially with those beautiful lights. I mean, aren't they gorgeous? Now this is my selection, starting off with a Caesar salad. Honestly, it was pretty standard. I think it definitely needed more croutons, so I could have enjoyed it more. Then we had the zucchini and carrots. Epicuria always has cooked veggies, and they were not that bad, but they could have been better. Next, we have my least favorite part of the dish, which is the fish. I honestly could not stomach the fish because it was too salty and normally I am an advocate for fish in Epicuria but today it just wasn't a hit. Moving on to the next dish, we have the chicken alfredo. Now I'm going to give you a few seconds to figure out what's wrong with this chicken alfredo. And if you thought, where is the chicken? Those are my exact thoughts. I mean, this is supposed to be a chicken alfredo, not a pasta alfredo, thank you very much. So this pasta gets a 6.5 out of 10 for taste because I just wish there was more chicken. Now let's move on to Amy's selection. First I got this pizza and we come to Epicaria a lot kind of, so I always get this pizza because it's always here, like cheese pizza is always here. So I would say like 7 out of 10. And then I also got this pasta. This is like a ragu pasta and I think it's vegetarian also. But um, my rating of this is probably a seven and a half out of 10 because the mushrooms are cooked well. There's actually enough sauce for once. Sometimes I have issues with skimping on sauce. Um, the sauce is like a little bit acidic, um, which I don't actually mind, but like some people might mind. Then I also got this Alfredo pesto pasta, which is probably my favorite pasta I've had today <laughs> out of the two, um, but it's really creamy. And, but they are skimping on chicken, so my original eight and a half out of 10 rating has to go down to an eight because of the skim with the chicken, and it's cold. So after finishing our cold pasta, we decided to frolic over to the dessert station where we got a chocolate cake and even checked out the frozen yogurt machine where they had pistachio froyo and even some random flavor that we did not know. So of course we had to get it. 
I had the pistachio flavor and it was creamy and had a subtle sweetness to it, so I would rate it a 7 out of 10. So yeah, it's some Froyo. We don't know what flavor this is, so I'm just gonna try it and guess. <laughs> What's your rating? So that finishes our dinner in Epicuria and now we are moving on to our last dining hall, the Neb. Now I told you about B Plate being the healthiest dining hall on campus. Contrasting from that, we have the Neb. Although the Neb does serve some healthy food options, but it does get quite greasy every now and then. No offense. Unlike Epicuria though, the Neb does serve breakfast and has some delicious tater tots. Now here is our selection for today where we got our baked potatoes from the baked potato bar. And here is Amy showing off her skills and techniques when it comes to baked potatoes. So oh good. <laughs> yes, I've been practicing since I was little. The technique is to get the butter and the cheese on while the potato is hot, right? Uh -huh. So then it will melt, obviously. But then you have to like scrape it and then make it fluffy and then it like will all taste like the same. Otherwise, yeah. this potato is kind of falling apart. But <laughs> you, normally I have a very advanced technique. Hello, it's me again. I'm back for the third stop. We're here at Dinah. This looks kind of janky, but I got a hot potato. And I got some, this is my bedroom. We're gonna give a review soon. Actually, but it actually tastes really good. Um, the brisket was a bit fatty for my taste. <laughs> there was some, there were a little bit of fat chunks in there, but I removed it. <laughs> but the barbecue sauce on the brisket is like really good. It gives a little like sweet and sour taste. And which combined with the cheese makes the baked potato in itself taste really good. So I'd actually give it like an 8 out of 10. Mine is not a full 10 out of 10 because of the little fat chunks that I put there. <laughs> now we're on to the vegetable. Here we go, you can see it. They have great cooked veggies here actually. This is the garlic green bean. This is the garlic green bean. Um, I actually like it a lot. It's like a 7 out of 10. So this is a mushroom as well. When I tried it, it tasted a little bit mushy for my taste, so maybe like a 5 out of 10. But I like the flavor, the flavor was there. And broccoli, the, the broccoli was actually cooked right, like it wasn't overcooked at all. So I really liked it. So overall, like an 8 out of 10 as well. <laughs> How's your potato? It's really good. Um, 9 out of 10, because Aww. I made it the way I want it. Because <laughs> I knew it was going to be good, but potato got a little cold. Oh, you wait. I know. Um, what did you put on your baked potato? Butter and cheddar cheese. Mm -hmm. Yummy. This is a place where we actually saw a famous, famous person. <laughs> okay, Amy, who did you, who did you see? Okay, okay yeah. Wait, we saw Nia Su from afar, and she was having breakfast with her friends, and like, I don't know. I, like, we didn't like say hi to her or anything. Because one, she wouldn't know who we were. And two, I feel like she gets recognized so much that she's probably like tired of it. But yeah, we saw her from a bar and like. And Amy Craig. So someone with dessert. We didn't get any dessert. Uh, we got watermelon though. Which I like. <laughs> watermelon. I would actually. It's still cold and it's crunchy and it's sweet. So I'd actually rate this like a nine out of ten. Like I'm not gonna lie, this is nine out of ten watermelon. And although we didn't get any desserts that day, we had to rate the Nevis having the best desserts out of all of the other dining halls. It has cheesecakes, deep dish brownies, regular brownies, cookies, pies, the list goes on and on. And one time, Amy even took several cheesecakes from this dining hall in one particular day. It's a go box, a cup that's like this big, and it's like plastic. And then we had like a little bag for dessert, but I guess I wasn't feeling savory, so we put all the cheesecake in this row box, like in like a Tetris pattern, and then we like stuck the brownies in it. I think we got like seven cheesecakes and like eight brownies with more space to spare. Like there was more space. We could have more so there's seven cheesecakes right here. There's two cheesecakes in here and four brownies. And they still need more brownies to put it in this bag. <laughs> and I already got in trouble because one time I got caught too. <laughs> and then the lady was like, 
And then I was like putting cookies in my cup or something. And he was like, those are for drinks only. And then I got busted. And then I like, I didn't try to do it as much anymore. Like I still did it. But like not as like obviously I guess as yeah. it so with that, we finished our dinner at Deneb, which also ends our UCLA dining hall tour. Let us know which dining hall is your favorite and whether you actually want to eat at UCLA. Thanks for watching!